gonna be very excited. What would you do with a hot day in Shanghai? Sunset. Grab some local food. Maybe buy something nice along Shanghai's famed shopping street. Very nice. Explore some hot Instagram spots. And a little bit of sightseeing is always fun. Just like a Barbie house. And the view from the tower never disappoints. <laughs> Me and my friend put together an awesome road that will let you explore the best of Shanghai in just half a day. And if you are curious about mobile payment, Alipay and WeChat will have you covered. It's the most convenient way to get around. Nice to meet you guys! Right now we are walking to the metro station, Shanghai Jiotong University station, to go to the People's Square station. Today is the uh, pollution, like it's very... Very like, low, right? Yeah, very low, like yeah. very low level. So the air is very good, so you can breathe and you can even smell the flowers. <gasps> can you hear the birds? Oh yes, I, I heard the sound of the birds. Ah. <laughs> very natural, yes. around the uni. What about visitors from Thailand? How you guys you can come? Yes, I, I think like um, from what I know is that from the 1st of March 2024, oh. um, Thai passport holders can come to uh, China for um, 30 days visa exemption. Oh, that's, that's very kind and very good for That's for very people, nice. Like, to come and see like, how yeah. Shanghai is, <laughs> uh, the development and also to also to other cities in Shanghai. Oh, that's very nice. So basically from this year, from like it's been only a couple of weeks, right? <laughs> so <laughs> Thai people can come. For Russian people for touristic groups there's this exemption but if you come by yourself there's like there's application procedures but uh, now they've been simplified so oh, okay so it's also too easy it's very easy so if you considering uh coming to china to shanghai you should do it oh. you definitely should do it Joe university station in this station we have line 10 and line 11 very convenient we are so lucky Let's show you how to get a ticket! So number one, you can go to the ticket machine. You can click English. You can choose the line that you would like to go. Yeah, you should pick the road. The road, And yes. the price is gonna be calculated according to the distance. You yes. see different prices. So... So right now we are at line 10. Uh -huh. So where are we going next? We are going to... Line the 2. Line 2. So previous line two, and then we are going to People Square versus here. Oh uh, yes. So People Square. Yes. So basically, you choose. Um, it's gonna show you the price of um of one people, and if you need more people, you can just choose like for example two, Tickets. and you can click the QR code payment. So can foreigners like use their Alipay? If yes. they don't have like Chinese bank cards. Uh, yeah, it's very easy. Like what I love about China is how convenient the payment system is. So let's say in Russia, you have to carry cash around and cards. In China, you don't need it. Like the only thing you need is your phone with you. Basically, you go to Alipay and then you can just click here and then like bank card. And then you just add it. Like your international bank cards. They accept Visa, MasterCard, uh, Master cards, Diners. Diners Club, Discover, JCB, and Union Pay. So it's very easy. Um, you can have a look at mine. So for example, I also buy into my uh, two Thai bank cards, the MasterCard one and also Visa. So very convenient. You can just click um, scan and then you just scan it. Yeah, and then you can Six choose yeah, yeah, yes. the bank card that you want. For example, I can choose like MasterCard, something like this. We're gonna buy it today or we're gonna use other um, QR code to do it? Uh, we're just gonna use our QR code yeah, okay, <laughs> because of why. It's more convenient, right? <laughs> and we're safe. Safety yes. is number one. <laughs> you just go to the transport and choose bus, metro or taxi. So metro and you just use the QR code. Yeah, with the QR code. We're here to code. Very easy. So which line are we taking? Um, I think we are taking line 11. Um, this application, I think it's very convenient for foreigners. It's called um, Metroman Shanghai. I use it too. Yeah, this app. If you're not sure about the name of the station, 
you yeah, can go you can go to, to the whole map. Yeah, the web of um, metro system. Yeah, you Something can choose starting uh, starting point and, and your final your... destination. Mm -hmm. Hi. Um, two. Two. Yeah, something like this, very easy, and then like it shows you like how much you have to pay and what transfers to take. Another another great part about choosing Shanghai as your starting destination for exploring China is a lot of people they do speak English. If they don't, they still gonna try to point the direction for you, or sometimes they even will offer to take you to the station you need. So so sweet. So which side are we going? People Square side. People Square, I think it should be to the International Airport. Yes. The final destination for the line number two is Pudong Airport. And People Square is coming. We have to pass Jing'an Temple with Nanjing and then it's gonna be People Square. Leaving from that direction, always follow the lead. Time for a snack before lunch. <laughs> now we're getting more people because everybody is going to People Square, <laughs> the hottest like place. <laughs> yeah, the hottest place in Shanghai. Even on weekdays, the enormous amount of people. Exactly. Yes. Tourists, international tourists, domestic tourists, everybody wants to visit Nanjing. Nanjing Road. It's very iconic. Ready to exit? Exit 19 is right here. Scan. To leave. Hello. Hello. So exit 19 is the closest to Nanjing Road? Yes, it is. When the weather is nice, like today, you can take the pedestrian street, which is, I think, 1.2 kilometers long. Mm -hmm. Yes, very long. But it's uh, full of things, full of attractions and also shops and restaurants along the way. I read somewhere that it's more than 600 businesses presented here. 600! Oh. Can you imagine? Oh my god! Ooh, look at the view, so magnificent. It's the biggest advertisement. So you know that you come to the place of shopping, the shopping paradise. So this is the underground street. People walking around. You can see a lot of tourists. Yes, both domestic and international. Yes. <laughs> or some people, they specifically come here for shopping, so they carry a luggage. Our first destination is Nanjing Road. Such a sunny day. So many international flagships. Flagship stores. Flagship stores. Yes. Wow, ah, so cute. cute. <laughs> she loves champagne. <laughs> Hello. Oh, how cute. Hello. You are what? You are what? You are how cute. You are how cute. Come here. Look. You want to do it? Come. You want to look at me? <laughs> bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! So cute, cute so yeah. sweet. Okay, this is my Lao Shi <laughs> teacher. I'm teacher. learning Chinese. <laughs> my Chinese is not as good as his, so sometimes I ask him like how to say something. So it's another plan for today. But Lao Shi Pigeon is gonna <laughs> is gonna teach you some useful words. Yeah, sure. Number one, ke ai, ke ai. beauty. <laughs> oh, Shanghai Rabbit. This oh, is yes. for milky candies. That's yeah, very famous. Shanghai signature. Shanghai. But I'm more interested in the local cuisines. Ah. 
<laughs> in the local trees. We could have a try. Yes, let's discover something special. But sometimes some people are very nice. They tell me that, like, oh, be careful of your phones, something like that. Yeah, just so. like, or uh, just a couple minutes ago, one of the gentlemen he suggested to be careful of my bag and take care of it because it's right here. So he was like, be careful because it's too crowded here. <laughs> but it's China. It's very safe, actually, because a lot of CCTVs and you know that nothing gonna happen to you. Mm -hmm. You can just trust the system. Just keep your belongings safe. Oh, I think this is a very typical brand for Shanghainese. Shanghai brand. Uh, yes, Shanghai Nuren. Nuren is a uh, woman. For Shanghai girls only. Yeah, I think they have like cream, facial cream, and different types of things. Oh. Let's try. This is for perfume. It's perfume. This one is perfume. Mm, it smells so nice. Uh -huh. uh, 30 yuan for, for Two. one. For one. Uh, for one. Yes. So yeah, she is This is also it's very cheap. Um, very affordable. Perfume. Yes. Mm. Oh, very nice. This I like, like it. Very like relaxing. Do you know what everybody should check out? The Shanghai first food hall. Wow, so crowded. Let's check specialties. Meatballs. That could be the intestine. Yeah, look like that. What about this one? Um, duck, maybe? Pigeons! Pigeons, yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you sad? <laughs> Some pigeons! We are very, very excited about the butterfly cookie. Yes, let's have a look if they have it. Oh yes, they do. They have so many options oh, here. Yes, have chocolate. Let's check more. So many options. Yes. Yes. I like it here. Oh, yes. You go to the app, you press pay, and there's gonna be QR code. So you can choose the method of payment. Mm -hmm. For me, it's a balance. Okay. Yahoo! How you never get in China? Yes. Check <laughs> Very easy. Yes. And then the price is going to show how much you have paid. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So, right now we are right in front of the ICBC bank, just in case you would like to withdraw from the ATM by international bank cards. So I have my um, Thai bank card from the ICBC bank, but it's um, in Thailand. So I'm, I'm gonna use it for the ICBC in China. This is ATM. Yes, ATM. So basically what you need to do is that you change the language to English, and then you just insert your card. It's very protective for the passwords over here, right? Choose the appropriate amount, yes, insert so the amount, your password. For example, like 100, something like this, and then you click confirm, and the money gonna be out, something like this. Yeah, that's it, very easy, right? <laughs> and don't forget to take your card. Yes. Little helper. More street food. Yes. You can dress up yes. and take pictures. Shanghainese style. <laughs> and they uh, they use props like an old car. And you can get a picture frame right here on the spot. Seafood. 
They're gonna grill it for you. So you just pick whatever you want. Yeah, and the price is over there. You check the price and the owner is gonna fry it for you. Don't forget to mention how spicy you want it. Yes. And then we input the price, like this one is 55 and then yeah. So easy. So you have to scan the code of the shop owner, you insert the price and you show to the owner. Some seasoning. Yeah. Oh, very big. <laughs> I will gonna use my hand <laughs> if I can. I cannot. <laughs> you cannot. Maybe you have to like okay. hold this one. I have. Very local style. <laughs> Even though we asked not to make it spicy, it was still a bit tingling on your tongue. So you should be insisting on the level of spiciness. Ooh, perfect! Perfect! Wow, man! <laughs> You. Let's do hambe. Oh no, different size. Even <laughs> <laughs> mm. for me, it tastes like home. Mm. Do but you have something similar? Yes, we do. So nice. But I know it's a specialty for Shanghai. Shanghai butterfly cookie. The song is Shanghai during the night. Mm. Yeah, Shanghai. Mm. <laughs> Listen to Shanghai song, eat a Shanghai eat. Shanghai. East Nanjing Road is pedestrian. But somewhere you can see the crossing, so pay attention to the light. Yeah, be careful. But cars don't go on a high speed here because they are aware that there's a lot of people crossing the roads. And there's hot pot. Oh, hot pot. Have you guys heard about hot pot? Before coming to Asia, I never imagined, <laughs> I never experienced what hot pot is. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it's a boiling pot with a soup in it. And you can add any ingredients you like. You boil it for a few seconds or a few minutes and you eat it on the spot. Yes, very some nice. kind of sauce also. Yes, and they have very different styles of hot pot. So the most famous one in China is Chongqing hot pot yeah. because it's very very spicy. Today we are going to try one of the branches of famous franchise here in Shanghai and in China. Pigeon is asking about the student discount. Interesting thing about hot pot in China is you creating your own sauce so many options I will go with sesame oil garlic maybe some chili pepper and some cilantro the final touching point is peanut sauce your personal sauce is ready I will go with another classic one aged black vinegar mm. 
some chili sauce. Mm, spicy. Be careful with that. Some fresh chili. Let's do more. Sesame oil again. Ooh. Pickle mustard. Pickle. Oh, you're a big fan of pickles. <laughs> yes, pickles. And again. Chive. Oh, it's chive. It's not a uh, spring onion. And coriander, cilantro. It mm. rich the taste. <laughs> Let's wait for everything. Stomach skin. Have you ever tried stomach skin? Never in my life I imagined I would be enjoying it. Oh, it's from with rose. Yeah, this little <laughs> flower. <laughs> I cannot call it nice, but look definitely it's interesting. interesting. Yeah. It says you have to boil it for eight seconds, or you have to dip it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Very chewy. Very chewy. Mm. It's really hard to describe. It's like vegetable. Mm -hmm. It's meat taste. Oh. We are very excited for the noodles. For the noodles. Wow. <laughs> Impressive. Yeah, very good performance. Like his technique is like superb. <laughs> you can tell he was practicing for a few years. So happy. <laughs> now we are ready for the second part of our journey today. And he's so energized right now. Oh, discount. And the discount, ah, discount is like yes, a lot yes, yes, yes. from to to uh, four four hundred and two. From to four hundred to two. To like one hundred nineteen. One hundred twenty is discount. Discount, yes, a lot. I feel so energized after <laughs> such a great meal. You guys should try it out. Yeah. And the student discount, I think it's thirty percent. Yes, a lot. Thirty percent. Yes, this is great. So where are we going now? We are going to check out one of the hot places in Shanghai for taking pictures. Who doesn't love good pictures, pretty pictures and good photo spots? Most importantly, you can get to that place for absolutely free. Let See? me check the way, like yes. how to go there from um, Nanjing Road. So before coming to China, you should find the suitable app for you. The one you feel is going to be the most useful one. Another way is uh, Maps.me, uh, which offers offline maps. You can download it in, in advance if you don't have any service. So using Maps.me saved me so many times before when I was traveling. And it offers separation of places based on um, categories. So if you're looking for food, for coffee shops, for museums, it's gonna mark it on a map. And I think you have different language settings, which is very convenient. So beautiful. The specialty of this place, why people love it, because you can not only take picture with the beautiful architecture of the place but also you can have in your picture the pearl tower and the bun yeah like everything in one picture so amazing because usually for all other places you have to pay mm -hmm. but here it's free, it's free. Of, yeah, yeah entrance is free it looks so fancy yeah. it looks so nice <laughs> you wouldn't imagine it was empty and abandoned in some place we are on the first floor now and we are going to the second floor. 
It's a great place for brunch. For a date with your friends. So you can see a lot of influencers are coming here. Just for taking pictures professionally. Oh, that's the Oriental Pole. And that we are looking yeah, for the, the whole buildings. view. You can spot the band. I just love it. I think I will revisit the place again. Yeah. I will prepare some outfits, makeup, and I'm gonna be here. I'll this is back. amazing. <laughs> I'll do a look. Maybe we take a selfie? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. What is your favorite part about Shanghai? My favorite part of Shanghai is um, the Ban, the Ban area. Why? Um, I think every time like my Thai friends come from Thailand, I bring them to there because they like photos, Thai people love taking photos <laughs> and then um, they can post it on Instagram or Facebook <laughs> Nice, <laughs> I can tell! <laughs> I love taking pictures myself We love taking pictures <laughs> Yes, that's why we discover all the hottest spots <laughs> for exactly. taking pictures The spirit, the combination of fast moving life and slowing pace at yes. the same time Yes I don't know, it's very hard to explain. It, mm -hmm. you, you should be here to feel it. Oh, it's getting so windy. Yeah, a bit windy now. Do you know why? Because we are going to the bar! The bar. <laughs> <laughs> so much excitement. Oh my god. I think like we, we, we're so energized, like a lot of, uh, a lot of happiness. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> How happy I am. She's so happy after the meal. <laughs> Look how many people around. We're getting closer. Wow. So many people. Mm. Look how many people on that side. Oh my god. But not so crowded actually. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's getting very, very crowded. And that's why we came here. Observation desk. Pearl Tower, Shanghai Pearl Tower. Yeah. Like everybody knows it. People who haven't been to Shanghai, they still would recognize the place. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. Yeah. Let's get closer to the river. Huangpu River. You see, all people come here to take pictures. Let's have a selfie. So windy. <laughs> 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 so you have to adjust your hair a little bit? Yes! <laughs> okay! One, One two, three. Okay, maybe nice. this, this one, this one. Yes! From all the sides? Yeah, all the sides with the bun. Uh -huh. the, the scenery is just picturesque. Yeah, and you during the night you could get a different feeling of the bun because um, many buildings gonna open and turn on the lights and neon lights the too on yeah. the other side and the other side it's very lively like, and the pearl tower it has a light show <laughs> and you can see people come here for getting other people's reactions they're dressing up in the traditional clothes, you reach the ICBC building and you just go downstairs from here. That's another way of taking the boat. Yeah, is it this one? Okay, don't be tricked. It's not this one. You should go further. Welcome to Shanghai Ferry. Alipay. WeChat Pay. And app uh, for getting the tickets. Union pay. Look how many people are here. I think people are running to the second floor ah. because it will give you best, the best view. I know well, why people were running to get in here. To get all the spots by the edges of the boat so they can see the water. 
and the river and the best view. <laughs> but Pigeon and I were both pretty tall, so yeah. <laughs> we are fine <laughs> by standing just in the it's middle. Very easy for us. <laughs> <laughs> but if you wanna observe from the first hand, just it's another tip for you. Just run, yeah, <laughs> so you can and be get the first. yeah, be the first, <laughs> so you can get the best spot. Well, it actually makes a lot of sense because the price for fare is only two yuan two, and if you take the the tour, if you're gonna take uh, the bridge, yeah, I think you're gonna spend much more on electricity yes, recharge yes. or like on the gas. So. And you can also enjoy the view. <laughs> and now you can see the other side of the bank where we departure. It's so beautiful. And you can see, you can spot the Pearl Tower hiding between the skyscrapers. Oh my god, guys, this is so big. This is just tremendous construction. Camera doesn't show how great the building is. It looks enormous. Bus is prepared to take tourists all places around. Yeah, and over there, there is an organized group of tourists. Yes. We are at the Orange Pole Tower. TV Tower of Shanghai. <laughs> yeah. Have you been inside before? Never. This is my first time. Same for me. <laughs> I'm very, very nervous because, yeah, <laughs> truth to be told, I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> I have a little acrophobia, so uh -huh. my palms are getting sweaty even before getting there. Tickets area right here. You can get it in the registration office or you can get it by scanning QR. Guys, you can see the prices are here. They have different floors. And based on which area you want to visit, the price is gonna be different. So first, click here. And you have to scan. Scanning. Signing in. And then you have to follow first, <laughs> using your fish hat. And then, like this one, buying online. I think there are different places. Uh -huh. Different places you you would like to go, and the price gonna be like different. Different based on the based on location. Could, yes. For people who don't have access to the WeChat here, yeah, we just can get it at the counter with a real person who can advise you which area to visit. Guidebook. We are going at 258 meters high to Transparent Observatory. They are showing how many people visited the tower today. So it's more than 5,000 people, 5,000. And the tower is open until nine. Yeah. Nine. So <laughs> I think it's gonna make ten thousand per day. Yeah, probably. The territory surrounding the tower is tremendous. Wow. They have a coffee shop. Yeah. Ooh. Look at the tower itself. It's enormous. <laughs> it's so shiny. I love how it looks like in the sunlight. It's like a real pearl. Mm -hmm. Kids, yeah. Yeah, you can look at the kids. Sliders. <laughs> oh yeah. So cute. That how it looks inside, right after passing the gates. Ooh, there's line. Everybody's waiting to get in. Uh, in the high-speed elevators, usually your ears get blocked, like in the airplane. We have to know this thing which the gates. We are come to the Oriental Pearl Tower, which is a symbolic building of Shanghai. 263 meters high. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. This is amazing. I think that one is Huangpu River, right? This is Huangpu River, the one we were crossing before on the ferry. The view is breathtaking. Yes. 
and you can see the bond from here. I know there is a, a glass floor somewhere, so probably it's gonna be a bit of <laughs> a bit of scary, but like a bit of nerve tickling. But for now, I'm just amazed how yes. beautiful it is. Like you can see Shanghai like on your hand. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So there's a bit of the mist right now around the city. Uh, how is it? Amazing. You can see everything. It's so different. Yeah. <laughs> when you stand right in front of the buildings, they look so big. But here, it's just like a Barbie house. Barbie house. Yes. <laughs> everything is in a uh, little like scale. Yeah, little scale. Oh my god. Ooh, and it's pointing all the directions. Fujian, Fuzhou, Hong Kong. Macau. I really like it here, but let's challenge ourselves a bit and go to the observatory with a transparent floor. Yes, are you ready for that? No. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to go. Open air. Yes, and you can have a look down there. Wow. <laughs> you need to grab something? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's <laughs> she she's inviting me to to step on the glass and she's saying it's gonna be fine. <laughs> I don't think I can. Oh my god, look even kids doing it. The kids is also fine. You wanna try? Yeah, we, can, we can step in together. No, thank you. <laughs> He's doing it. Oh yes. I cannot look down. I cannot. I'm just standing right here on the solid ground and I'm already being a bit scared and look at the wind and I'm so afraid of dropping my camera but there is no reason actually <laughs> because Can you hold my hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh she advised you to look at like the opposite side and then like walk back? No, no, no Okay. Look at the kid! She's so brave. <laughs> the maximum I can do is. <laughs> I did it! Just stepping a bit. A little bit? Yeah, a bit more. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sunset. The whole city is preparing for the night. For the night. It's a good Definitely. experience. Definitely. Yeah. It's must visit spot in Shanghai. One day, half a day half trip a day around Shanghai. We visited the most iconic places, which include Pearl Tower, where we're now. The bus, the bus. Magic Road. Yes, and also taking the ferry. And yes, we took the ferry and we had such a great meal in Haiti Lao. Yes. Guys, you should try it. Definitely, it's worth it. And there are so many, many places in Shanghai to discover. Feel free to follow us. And we will show you more. Bye-bye.